it so. Ooh, that last one there gave me a little bit of trouble because my hand came out of this medium size lever or small size lever. You can see that it is empty and safe to talk about. Hey, by the way, did you know that you could order special order from Henry? Henry 44 Magnum made in the great US of A special order. Nope, I didn't order it, but the missus did. Let's talk about it. Fast movers. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that you could special order from Henry. Yes, what we're talking about here today on the pistol slash rifle range in the rifle range bay, pistol bay, 25 yard bay, is the Henry repeating arms, lever action, small loop 44 Magnum. This thing holds 10 rounds of 44 Magnum. And yes, you absolutely can special order. You saw me put five down on range. Let's put these last five on target. And that's the last one. Last one, 44 mag. Those were 180 grain fast burners. By the way, the barrel's a burner too because this thing is absolutely hot. It is scorching hot after 10 rounds of 44 Magnum, 180 grain from Remington. Old range fans, I had to go put that lever action down. That barrel is scorching. I was shooting with 180 grain Remington, 44 Magnum. What I did notice is a little bit is anything under 200 grain and that particular lever, um, it doesn't, there's not anything wrong with it. Didn't give me any trouble, so let me say that. But it just wasn't as smooth, and I gotta tell you, that is the smoothest lever action I have worked with. We're gonna talk about it a little bit, but first, let's go down and see that target. We're gonna do it a little bit different today. Yep, I only put up one camera. <laughs> Might be being lazy. We're gonna talk about it. Oh yeah, and there you see it right there. 10 headshots, Henry, 44 Magnum. Let's go back and talk about some of the features on this thing. All right, range fans, not only was this thing a special order, it is the all weather, and we'll talk about the special order here soon. Uh, I just found out from a good friend of mine out here, came over to see what was going on and give me some 460 Magnum brass. Um, Tell me that Henry does special orders all the time. I had no idea. So keep that in mind when you're talking about the Henry repeating arms company. But this is the all weather. First and foremost, lever action, 44 mags. You can see it is clear for sure. Now you rack that thing open and you can see the loading gate. Now, before we get into these details, I want to talk about the detail of Henry really paying attention to his customer base. I gotta tell you, it's the first lever action I have seen where they flip and beveled the loading gate. It's not sharp, it doesn't pinch you, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, you can just load them right in there. By the way, the tube will hold 10. This one is non-threaded, but Henry has other models out there that are threaded. This one, is hard chrome as you can see and i think it is that hard chrome and this nitrided boat that just makes this thing slick Ooh, it is the cat's meow 
I am telling you, it's got the stainless steel accent screws in here. Real nice, hard stained wood, 20 inch barrel. This thing is threaded if you want to put a scope on it. I've always gone back and forth always going back and forth on two things in my life. And you guys help me down in the comments down below. Tell me if I got this thing wrong or not. The two things are putting a scope or an optic on lever action. I don't know. I just kind of feel that it shouldn't happen. And the second one, I'm not going to talk much about, but it's shooting nine millimeter out of a 1911. Just Oh, you can see how bad it messes me up. Just really messes me up. But anyways, this thing was special ordered and it was special ordered by the missus. So it really has some special meaning to me. It has, it is threaded on top for an optic. It has some nice sights. I call them nice sights. The front sight is a gold bead front dot sight. Now that is fantastic. I don't know that I'm really crazy about the buckhorn sights that is adjustable for elevation and also adjustable for windage from side to side. Um, what else can I tell you about this thing other than it just shoots really, really well? Well, let's do that. Let's shoot it some more. You know what, range fans? I got quite a bit of different ammo out here. So I gave you some of the features on it. Like I said, this thing holds 10 rounds in the tube, one in the chamber. Of course, that gives you 11 potent, 11 potent rounds of 44 Magnum. The end of the brass tube here for the feeding tube is knurled, so it gives you good purchase or good grip. Now, I think what we'll do, not necessarily a durability, but reliability test. The first 10 shots out of this thing was 180 grain green and white box Remington. Now we got 240 grain Winchester 44 Magnum. And you're gonna wanna hang in there cause lever actions, well, we'll talk about it when we get there. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go for that little target in the top left. Aim small, miss small. Ooh, she's hot. Oh yeah. Now getting a little guy, kicking up that backstop though. I got the gold B front dike, front sight. <laughs> Dead center. Oh, that's the blooper reel. Two hundred and forty grain Winchester white box, forty-four Magnum. Whew! I tell you what, just five rounds. Oh man, yeah, gets that barrel really hot. So, if you're gonna take this out for a long range day, like I am today, be very careful of that. Now, coming up next, you know what it is. By the way, I didn't talk to you about the Henry rubber butt pad now you know 44 mag yeah it kicks quite somewhat but it's not really that bad to me especially in this platform but the one thing that i notice is when you put this thing when you snap it up there in the shoulder that butt pad grips really well so much for the rubber yeah it's it's a i'm gonna call it a medium soft rubber but man, is it grippy when you put it up there. When you fire, it's not slipping. It's not moving anywhere. Let's get this thing loaded up with some white box Winchester 44 Special. Oftentimes, lever actions have trouble with 44 Special. We're going to find out. Didn't I tell you guys I'm all over the place today? <laughs> New format, one camera. Truth of the matter is, I couldn't wait to shoot this thing. So I left a camera. Hey, check it out. Check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's 240 grain white box Winchester from the Henry all weather side loading gate. Man, the groups are turning in pretty good. 
at about 10 to 15 yards. Now, let's try it with some 44 Special. All right, Range fans, let's see how this all weather does from Henry. I moved back, if you notice anything, I moved back to 20 yards and um, we're gonna see where this thing shoots. I have no idea where this thing is going to shoot. 44 Special, first time with 44 Special. The real test is how does it feed? The first one went very smooth. Here we go, 20 yards. I got the gold bead, dead center of the orange. And shooting a little high, interesting. Feeding rather easily. All right, range fans, not as smooth as I hoped it would be. It's a little bit clunky. I mean, the bolt is still smooth, but getting that shorter 44 special round loaded up in there uh, takes a little finessing, but it did go. And I just can't get enough. So we're gonna load some HSM semi wad cutters. I hope these things feed. HSM semi wad cutters in the Henry all weather side loading gate special order. Yeah, that's coming up. Special order in 44 Magnum. Let's do it. Ah, uh, before we go, let's go ahead and take a walk. Take a walk up this time. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. 44 special standing 20 yards. I was holding here. It is shooting a little bit high there where you can see. I'm going to see. I don't know about these old eyes, but I'm going to see if I can take some headshots on that target from 20 yards away with HSM 240 grain semi wide cutter. This is the test right here. Oh, yeah. This is the ultimate test right here in reliability. The 44 Special from the white box Winchester, I think it was a little bit clunky. This is HSM semi wide cutter so no round profile flat nose profile of the freedom pill let's see how this thing feeds and shoots 20 yards away who can i do headshots i don't know <laughs> here we go i got the gold bead like on the neck Ooh, these feed a little bit smoother Oh, uh, shooting high, because I'm aiming at the neck. Oh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. That barrel, sure enough, gets hot. How many did I put in here? There you have it, eight rounds, folks, eight rounds, and that actually fed a tad bit smoother. If you're looking for some type of accuracy round, I don't know why this is a hunting rig in and of itself, but it can be made for sporting, as you saw in the intro as well. You know what? Maybe I should get old DM out here with his AR-15 and come up with some kind of a contest 
with his black rifle and this hard chrome lever action carbine. Hey, now, you've been talking about Mr. Revolver Guy. Special order. Henry absolutely does special order. Guys, I can't show you everything because my wife special ordered a group for a group. And so shall I say she has her badge number and badge and PD on the end of this stock. But you're going to want to hang in there because there's a 38 special coming. There's a 22 long rifle coming. And they're all engraved up here on the Golden Boy. Absolutely. I know it's going to be beautiful if it turns out like this thing turns out. I'm telling you, for you clubs out there, clubs all around the world, clubs all around the U.S., get your members to go in special order. Maybe even get your club name on the bottom of this old stock here or engraved up here somewhere, get 20, 50, call Henry. They'll hook you up. I'm gonna shoot this thing some more, but there you have it. The all weather special order from Henry Repeating Arms. Oh yeah. Come on, let's walk down range and see. Let's walk down range and see. I was aiming for headshots. I think I had eight or nine rounds in it. Oh, not bad. But now you know what semi wide cutter do. See how it cuts the paper and that's cardboard back there? Man, clean, clean holes. I'll take that. At you know what? Let's back up as far as legal for this particular range. Put another one of these targets up and see where 44 mag hits. See what Mr. Old Revolver Guy can do from standing with this old Henry all weather side loading gate 44 magnum all right range fans i am 30 yards back that's as the far as i can go on this particular range within the range rules and i decided to go ahead and try some hsm cowboy loads again those are the semi wide cutters i'm going to see if i can keep them all in the 10 ring in the x ring 44 special semi wide cutter on the box. It says these things are moving along at 845 feet per second. I don't know how they test. I'm sure it probably picks up some velocity out of this 20 inch barrel. And maybe, maybe that's something else we do. If you want to see, hey, maybe a six inch 44 Magnum with all of these rounds across the chronograph, and then out of the old 20 inch Henry all weather, comment down below and let me know. Until then, let's see Whew, what we can do. 30 yards away, black target, all black target, dead center aim. Kicks them out pretty good. I think I am shooting high, and that's what a dead center aim shooting high. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to keep the same hold and see where they group. Last round. Oh, I'm interested to see. Let's put this thing down and go down range, take a look at it. Oh, we're going to take this walk. We're going to take this walk. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Henry, all weather, 44 Magnum, side loading gate. By the way, I love that the tube is still there because in a pinch, you can just unload the tube by taking the end out. Oh, look at that. I'll take that. What do you guys think? I was actually aiming here, shooting a little bit higher with the 44 Special. I probably could tighten them up if I practice a little bit more with it. First time out with it. Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One more target, this time with 44 Mag. Oh yeah, range fans, I'm back in the same spot, 30 yards away, this time with 44 Magnum, the Winchester 
white box. We're gonna take a center aim and see where these shoot, 30 yards. Those got some kick. Lean into it, big fella. Last round. Ooh, let's make this thing safe and clear. Ooh, that thing is hot, y'all. Let's make it safe and clear. Keep the muzzle pointed down range. Safety always first concern. And we're going to go down range, take a look at this target. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Take that walk. Oh, I think I'm liking what I see. Now it's hitting a little bit low. Go figure. I got one X in there. 44 Magnum, Winchester, white box, 240 grain, out of the Henry, all weather, side loading gate. Hey, hey, 44 Magnum. Henry, special order. By the way, the serial number is me and the missus, last name with a few digits added on. I am telling you, if you want a customized lever, Henry, Henry repeating arms. Let's go.